Hey, what's going on? One second while I undo some knots that are in my earpiece. One sec, guys. Hey guys, sorry about that. Loki, come here. What are you doing over there? Loki's already here. We have bosses to kill. Let's see here. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everyone's doing okay. I had a phone call, I had to like take it. Okay, so, um, last time we pretty much went through everything but messing with Sasquatch. So, I think we should go mess with Sasquatch. What do you guys think? <laughs> You'll see who I call Sasquatch.
He's really salty about losing to us, too. Haha. -ha. I wonder what Profane Flame does to him. Wow, that knocked him way back. Speaking of, I should uh, switch my spells around. For Sasquatcherino. Because I don't think Profane Flame is going to be very useful. Uh, maybe Fire Whip? I bet we try that too. So I was thinking about, I had this crazy thought while I was uh, time stamping. And I'm currently time stamping um, we're in Untended Graves in about an hour of the three. And I was like, I wonder if they're trying to make the illusion that trees are dragons. Jared Leto, please. Go away. What do you want to start with? Floating Chaos? So, from all the way back here, let's check out this tableau before we go any further. There's Sasquatch, also known as the Dragon Slayer Armor. And he's got a whole pant load of Harald Knights around him. It suggests he killed them. He killed them. Um, and he got exhausted because he is on his knees, basically panting in the same idle animation that you see him in before the boss starts. So, yeah, like, did he gank these Harald Knights and he got exhausted? Um, stuff like that. Um, but, so let's mess with Sasquatch. Once you aggro him, he does not stop. Alright. One sec.
Uh, yes. He's just in armor. Um. My theory is he is a recreation of a recreation of a recreation. So, um, we concluded in Dark Souls 2 with Targray's uh, Dragon Slayer guy, who looks like Ornstein, is a recreation. Just a empty suit of armor. This might be just a recreation of a recreation of a recreation. And he has gotten a lot more swole in the memories of people in Lothric. So, let's see here. Of a certain note is there is an actual plume. Also, he gives 64,000 souls, which means he's basically a boss fight. Which means I would say that the uh, the Ring City actually has four bosses because uh, this guy gives enough souls to be a boss. Um, Stark melted iron helm of an, the ancient dragon slayer armor. The armor, defeated by the champion of Ash and Lothric, was left ages to rust until it slipped into an abyssal swamp where it was possessed once again by the memory of the hunt. This is the only place where uh, my explanation of like time memory shenanigans gets a little muddy, but we can probably say that um, the main game is a memory of something that's already happened and that this is present time. But uh, again, I don't really bother trying to make sense of a timeline because I don't think time matters that much. And again, here's the rest of the tableau. This guy is charred and black. This guy is a Harald Knight, you can see right in. Right next to a tree. Some dark titanite. I guess the environmental suggests that uh, Dragon Slayer armor killed these guys. Probably looking for us, because he, he's pretty salty about us killing him. <laughs> In Lothric. Um, let me see if there's something else on this armor of a special note. Yeah, this is... The, the real special note is that this is the first time in an item description where it addresses the player character by name. But he's pretty salty that we, we killed him, so... You know. Dark Souls 3 does a lot of mini-boss encounters, which are ju basically just bosses without a... <laughs> without a theme. Or a fog wall because you probably can't make a fog wall here so they didn't well yeah you are a champion of ash you are the ashen one it it's like the first time they actually address the player character in an item description yeah and i'm not sure if that's because of the um The game engine that they used for Dark Souls 2 being what it was. Right, okay. I know what that is. Alright, let's go back to the shrine because we basically killed a boss. There's a lot of mini bosses in Dark Souls 3 that are basically bosses without a theme or a fog wall. Yeah. Ashen thou wish them I am a thousand. Very well, then top pig. Let's 
points, two points, two points. Actually, it's faster if I just sell them off. Click, click, click. Alright, what can I buy? Probably buy some fashion now. I should buy this too. That, um... That slab is only available once you hit proc the uh the kiln. Let's get the farm set. Ashes one. Yeah, like the DS2 engine is admirable for what they attempted to do, but I it really showed some of the growing pains, both between the fact that they had to do Gen 7 and Gen 8 at the same time. And, uh... The stuff they had to clobber together themselves before they worked with Japan Studio for Bloodborne. So, uh, that's one boss down. Uh, I went the wrong way. Rude! Alright, well, let's go see. That push, man. Rude! We have to fight this guy at least once. Wow, he does not like. I thought I'd avoid that. He'll always drop those on the first kill. There's your ritual spear fragment. More budding green blossoms. Some red flowers. And this is the Divine Spear Monument for Filionor's thing. Now, the monument itself is uh, pretty standard. You've got some. Pretty standard squire spear dudes. What's more interesting are the spears.
you can see the ornament around them, which princesses and such are reputed to do favor. But it also looks like a certain other thing, which might be in my item box. Um, it looks like the golden ritual spear, doesn't it? Furthermore, Hey, look, it's Gwendolyn. Hi, Gwendolyn. What's up? Also holding his golden ritual spear. How about that? Gwendolyn's little cameo. <laughs> you bastard. Where is Patches' summon sign, anyway? Thank you. Let's go, Patches. Wait, Patches? You're... You're using... <sighs> you guys, my crack theory about Patches actually being the pursuer in Dark Souls 2... Uh... <laughs> Come on, Patches. Let's go do this. Just my luck, I get... I get a player. You can fight him, but it doesn't change anything, so I don't. Did everybody have their fill? Jeez, Patches. you guys seriously from soft oh, you guys seriously
<laughs> yeah, seriously, thanks, Miyazaki. I sh should have read Twitter. tried to parry that weapon art. Oh, damn it, he killed me. I got countered because I'm trying to rush it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did it say the the maintenance is like an hour? The worst, you guys. Seriously, the worst. If I get bounced to the to the title screen, you, you guys will know what happened. right now. half Light is surprisingly the most um, competent. I want to say half Light is a more difficult NPC fight than um, what's his face? Leonhard. But not by much. It's funny, FromSoft always like posts their we're going down for maintenance in Japanese, so I don't even have to read that message anymore on Twitter. I'm not good at PvP, so... Wow, that lag. Jeez, I guess that's stream tonight. Is he just phantom ranging me or what? Meanwhile, Patches is still messing around with some some of those dudes. <laughs> S 
So, hopefully everyone's doing okay. Um, let's talk about Half Light while we're, watch while we're waiting for me to stop doing that. <laughs> while we're waiting to be bounced back to the title screen. What do you guys think about Half Light? Like, I think my fundamentals for PvP are there, but I'm just not good at it. I love that Patches is a summon here. went to the wrong person. Really painting guardian? You're gonna do that? Half-Light is a guy from Ulusil. He was probably the youngest member of their congregation for a diplomatic envoy to the Ring City, which also tells us that there's some time overlap between the Ring City and Ulusil. Um, my speculation about him is Half-Light fell but got a crush on Filionor, because I don't think Filionor was awake when he showed up. So, I think Half-Light um, basically swore himself to the Judicator Giant, and uh, so he gets summoned in as a fandom. Um, much like Zuli and Leto and stuff like that. Uh, the real Half-Light became a deer. I think he always had the katana, but I think Half-Light became a deer. Out of his, his devotion to Filionor. Very... Because you've got, you've got sn like a Snow White reference with um, Belfry Luna and Belfry Soul. Half-Light seems to be sort of a reference and a subversion of the Prince Charming trope. And so, Filionor is basically Sleeping Beauty. 
Um, but instead of waking her with a kiss, he became a dragon to protect her. Just stamina. Damn it. Um, yeah, so like I think the sword was half lights. And so with um, Half-Light becoming Madeir, there you are. And it still fits with the idea that the dragons, the real dragons, got themselves killed. So at nine, I got like one or two more attempts. I'm pretty much hoping for half light, even though half light is uh, an input reading, but. Jennifer.
Wow. Everybody just applaud for that one. That was... That was nice. That was a... That's a nice... Parry there. Hey, Marcus. Apparently, uh... This is going into server maintenance in about... Like, ten minutes. Yeah, that parry was pretty good. <laughs> I'm not even mad. That parry was pretty good. <laughs> Die. What's on the patch? Does anyone know? Uh, I'm not going to summon patches this time. So yeah, I think that's just kind of the story of Half-Light. Dude fell in love with the sleeping beauty of Filionor and decided to become a dragon to protect her. Feels like they've been trying to squash that bug for like forever, Dangle. There's Yennefer again. Holding off. She's zoning me out because they want their. Damn it. It's Super Gale cosplay over here. Ah, I'm dead. Sometimes I actually just flip offline and just fight half light. I taught that crossboat. Yeah. Dark Souls 2 backsteps had iframes. So if you were good at just hitting backstep, then, like, you got iframes. Yeah, he's an NG plus. Plus. Double plus. Yeah, the crossbow was pretty intense. I mean, one on one it's not as as hard, but when you're trying to kill the heal bot, it's much more difficult. Cuz you can you open up It is kind of funny, for a while. I still don't think I've beaten, I've even attempted Gale on my new game Double Plus character. She 
Sure. Shoot, Dangle. Like, I haven't even attempted it. I've just been fighting Madeir over and over and over again. Argo, really? Just hurry up and do your darn summon thing. And... Leave me alone. Oh, thank goodness, it's half light. Dodzi, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm waiting for his other heal bot. Hey, Got Guts. What's going on? I'm just rushing to try and beat the uh, server maintenance and it's not working. Yeah, like, um, the build I've killed Madeir on was my luck build. Thanks for the follow, Got Guts. All right, one more time. And then we're gonna get bumped out of the, uh, bumped out of the game. Rip. I can't be as fancy as, uh, Half Light. It's true. So, uh, eh, not really, but there's online play like this boss that we're on right now got guts is uh, a pvp boss that'll summon somebody in the same covenant and you have to fight somebody so there's like pvp and there's co-op but it's not like an mmo yes yes i know from soft i know one more time from soft i'll tell you when i had enough <laughs> Gale on a budget. Mini Gale. Ferola. Mini Gale. Yeah, yeah. I am paying attention to the Bills the Buzz of Awakening theory. I'm just, you know, also trying to beat this. Well, Dark Souls is a very good game to, to get into if you are into third-person action RPGs. Yeah, if you have a PS3, definitely start with Demons.
Yes. Well, the first team in the, the current franchise. And then there's Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, but can I do it under the bell? Never underestimate the poke. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. The on the thing about the Onyx sword is uh Onyx Blade has the longest reach out of any of them. It, even longer than the Claymores, and it has the same movement as the, the Claymore. So it's like just poke NPCs and they'll just walk into it every time. Yeah, it's really cool. And it switches in the second phase as soon as you hit 50% um, health and that's when it starts summoning in the, uh, the second painting guardian. The poke. Alright guys, this was a really abbreviated stream. FromSoft is saying it's closing time for two hours. So, uh... <laughs> thanks for joining me tonight. <laughs> um, glad we could get Half Light, Half Light out. I love Half Light. I like Half Light, even th and his story is really simple, but I think it it's effective, especially if you intent if you like interpret it the way I do. But uh, <laughs> FromSoft is saying it's closing time for two hours, so uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, take care, everybody. <laughs> oh gosh. Where's the gesture? Uh, right now? I want to start playing Prey, but I don't know if I want to start it right now. Either way, I have to, to kill the VOD because of how PS4 does, uh, does that, so. Give me, let me see. If I come back, then there's another game, but if not, have a great night. <laughs>